In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to turn your Canon DSLR into a webcam. Let's get into it. The first thing you're going to need is a computer or a laptop. After that, you're gonna need Canon DSLR. The DSLRs we're gonna be covering in this video are the Canon T3, T5, T7, and any I versions of what I mentioned before. You're gonna need a USB 2 connector to connect to your DSLR. You're gonna need a dummy battery as well as a dummy battery adapter to power the camera. Okay, so now moving on to the desktop side of things, you wanna go into your internet browser and download OBS Studio. Click the version that you need. We're gonna be doing Windows, because this tutorial is for Windows. We're gonna wait for it to download. And while that's downloading, we're gonna go onto another website. We're gonna type in Canon EOS Utility. Okay, so you're gonna go to EOS Utility 31030. And you're gonna click on download. We're gonna wait for that to download. And as you can see right here, EU installer W.10. You're gonna click on it. You're gonna to go to compress file tools, extract all. You're gonna extract it to the location you like. I would like it in downloads. It's gonna extract. Once completed, it's gonna open. You're gonna click on EU W3.10.30 installer. Click on it to install. And then we're gonna get into the wizard. You're gonna click whatever region that you're in. I speak English. Okay. So now it's gonna start installing the utility. Now, you don't have to install all of these. What we really are just trying to install is EOS Utility 3, but you could go back later and delete all of these after you've downloaded them. We're gonna press install, yes to agree the license. You're gonna press yes to confirm the installation. And then it's gonna to continue to install each layer. And like I said, once it's all done, you can go back and uninstall whatever you do not need. Okay, once the installation is complete, click next. It said, would you like to register now? No, we're gonna register later. Thank you for asking though, Canon. Okay, we're gonna press finish. And now you're gonna close all windows, go over here and type in EOS. So you should see EOS Utility pop up and you can see a little icon pop up on the window. Next, we're gonna go back into our downloads and remember we were downloading OBS. We're gonna go to downloads and we're gonna go to OBS installer. We're gonna double click on it. Then we're gonna press next and just follow through the OBS wizard. You're gonna select where you like the location for each of these items. Like I said, I like to put everything in downloads. I'm gonna press okay, press install. It's gonna to begin to install OBS and just let that run in the background. Now, while we have OBS running in the background, we're gonna move over here to your Canon DSLR. This is really important. So, the first step that you're gonna to wanna to do is get your USB 2 port, and you're gonna plug this into your Canon camera. As you can see right here, we're gonna plug that into our Canon DSLR. Once that has been plugged in, we're not gonna plug into our computer just yet. Put that on the side and as you can see our obs installation is complete you're going to click on not launch obs press finish i'm going to get back to working with the canon camera okay next up i want to get this the power adapter and plug it into your power source and now that we have our power source plugged in we're going to go to the bottom of this make sure you take out the original battery and there's this little part, this piece right here. It's, it's gonna be a piece of plastic here. You're gonna take that plastic out. You might have to nudge it with your finger or get a pencil or a little pliers to pry that out. Once that's out, you wanna get your dummy battery and your dummy battery adapter. Plug this port, as you can see, there's a hole. And I'll have a link in the description that you can purchase this if you're interested. So now we're gonna find the correct way, orientation to put this in. And it should go like this, you push it in, Make sure that this goes here, close the panel. Next, you're going to make sure your DSLR is turned on. And now we're gonna get this and plug this into our computer. So now the computer is connected to the DSLR and you can see it popped up on the screen. Okay, I know it's a lot, but we're almost there. We're almost done, folks. So the next step you're gonna wanna do is go to EOS Utility. Double click that, let that load and run. And you can see EOS Utility version 1.2. Another thing I forgot to mention, we're gonna go back over to the camera and you wanna set your camera and make sure it's set to the video mode. It should be set to video mode and it should look like this. So 
Let's say it was on automatic. You're gonna take it from automatic all the way to video mode. You're gonna hear a click. Nice. So once this window has popped up, you're gonna to go to camera settings slash remote shooting. You're gonna click on that and this should have popped up. You're gonna see this window. We're gonna bring this window over so you guys can see it a little bit clearly and better. We're gonna to go to live view shot. Okay, so now this window should have popped up and opened. I'm just gonna focus my camera really quickly. There we go, that's a little, it's a little better. As you can see, the camera's now been focused. And the next step that you're going to do is we're gonna go and open OBS. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth, but okay, well first up, we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to live mode. Okay, so defaultly, it should be set to live mode. You might see this square and we wanna get rid of that square. So you're gonna go here and you're gonna click on face detection live mode. Now that little square should have gone away. So now we're gonna go over to OBS. So if this is your first time installing OBS, just follow through the wizard and get to this main page that we're at right now and you can continue. But if you already have OBS installed, this is what you're going to do. First thing you're gonna do is make a new scene from the original scene that they give you. I name my scene Canon Camera. Okay, so once you've made your scene, we're gonna go over to sources and you're gonna create a new source. We're gonna look for window capture. We're gonna name that window capture webcam. We're gonna press okay, and it should launch this. We're not gonna be looking for this window, we're gonna be looking for our Rebel T3, and it should say remote live view window. And this is the window that you should see pop up. We're gonna press okay, and we're gonna center this, and our main objective is to get this. We're gonna have to crop out this, so that's what we're gonna do. Go to transform edit transform okay so the best settings that i've got are crop left 20 right 350 top 150 bottom 215 and your canon dslr should look like this so once we've had the transform transform you're going to close this window and let's make sure let's go back to this to make sure our camera is still having our live view. And as you can see, we can move our camera up and down. And if you go back over here to OBS, you can see that now we're, we're recording. So as you can see, we've connected our Canon DSLR as a webcam to our laptop or desktop computer. If you have any additional questions, please let me know. And if I missed out on anything, please let me know in this tutorial. I'll try to answer as many questions as possible in the comment section below. 